ain't gonna happen. You need to. What happened to burning all this down to the ground? What's up, y'all? It's Moochie, and I'm back with a video. And I am doing a trailer breakdown of Snowfall, the episode that's coming up, which is uh, episode number seven, and it's called Char Charnel House. Uh, Teddy and Franklin are closing in on each other in this episode, and Gustavo runs out of time. So I'm going to do a little breakdown piece by piece of this trailer. And throwing a little things and see if I can find some predictions. So let's get into it. Ew. Tomorrow, I put my husband in the ground. And I got Franklin to thank for that. A half a million. Plus it for the price of freedom. Away from this. You can't. It's only going to get worse. All of it is Franklin's fault. I know I'm going home with clean. So we see Franklin and Veronique, and it looks like they are going to Jerome's funeral. My question is, will Veronique still be ten toes down for Franklin, or will she take off and run with this money? There was a lot of speculation when she asked for the address, and you've seen how the camera panned it over when she asked where was this car going to be when he was making, getting ready to make a drop. So... I'm having some trouble with this. I still don't trust her. I know it's people that trust her at this point, but nah, I don't trust her at this point still. So we see the picture of Louis and Jerome. So you know Louis is in mourning now. She's in mourning, and it seems like homegirl wants revenge. Uh, She's already ready to come after him, I think. I think she's angry. You know, she's angry because her man is dead. Sounds like Franklin is planning an exit. Which should have been done a long time ago, if you ask me. But he's planning an exit. The question is, will Leon be gone with him? Now, this looks like when they first brought Louis back to the house. So, I want to see what type of conversation is going to happen there. Will she be actually blaming Franklin for this at this point? And this is when everything is going to really be on with between the two of them? Next, we see Julie, the mother of Teddy's child. And she's telling him he needs to just... Cut his losses and keep it moving and get out of Dodge. And he seems like he don't want to let go of this now. If Teddy stays to ride this out to the end, where will that leave Parissa? Because she's ready to run off with him with this money. I feel like if he, run, if he still pursues this, I feel like he's putting her life in danger as well as Julie's. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. So Sissy and Franklin are together and it looks like they, she's getting a final look at him at the funeral home before they lay him out. You know, Sissy want to make sure her little brother, Jerry Curl, is all right. And, you know, he's looking good in his suit. So she's checking things out. Next, we see Louie, and she looks like she is pissed, and she's hell-bent on getting at Franklin. You know, Louie feels like all of this is Franklin's fault, which is not. So stay tuned for my... Put the hammer down video on Louie. Because I'm going to speak into the microphone because I got something to say about her. Next, we see a tearful sissy. I want to know, do y'all think that they're going to face off? Because you know, if Louie come after Franklin, you know she's going to protect her son. And she don't like Louie that much anyway. So I think this, I don't think this is going to work out like how Louie thinks it is. So she either Sissy's going to try to defuse this whole situation where they reunite and go after the real culprit, which is Teddy, and they be a family again. They already suffered a loss. So I just want to see how they handle this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that hammer because you came by. Let me know what y'all think in the comments and holla at your girl. Talk to you guys soon. Later. Eww.